those of you who have been following my channel for a while know that I have really sold out on wood chips. But my new subscribers, uh, you probably uh, don't know that over the last couple of years I've been using wood chips in my garden using the uh, Back to Eden gardening method and have had a lot of success. I wanted to show you the difference between green beans that I had planted in September. I planted them in my uh, soil that had decomposed from the wood chips. Uh, this is a video of that right now. I mean, they were really tall. I'm five foot six and a half, and <clears throat> those vines were uh, taller than me. And now let me show you uh, green beans that I planted in topsoil that I have. I also added, um, the tree is dropping stuff all over my hair. Uh, I also added uh, horse manure and uh, mushroom compost. And uh, they're about four weeks old and the green beans that you just saw in the previous video, uh, I thought they were four weeks, but they weren't even quite four weeks old yet. So um, let's look at the difference. Okay, these are four week old green beans planted in topsoil. And I also added compost, mushroom compost and horse manure on top of it. And then I put leaves and now I just put some wood chips around them. The green beans that were in the video that I just showed you never were fertilized. So anyway, you can see why I, I get excited about wood chips. I recommend them uh, to anyone. They're getting harder and harder to get, at least for me, because the, uh, the idea of using wood chips is really catching on. Uh, a lot of people call up their uh, local uh, tree trimming companies. Uh, some people have uh, uh, wood chips available to them at landfills. I used to, but uh, that dried up, and I really uh, have not been able to get a source for wood chips lately, so I've had to resort to actually buying some. But I'm uh, going to persist on this and try to find somebody that will give me some free wood chips. Anyway, uh, just thought you might be interested in the, uh, this comparison. So uh, y'all have a good week.